fact, a lot of these individuals and companies who got licenses are mere speculators. It reminds me a lot of like the oil industry. People get licenses, but they have absolutely no history, no involvement in oil. Similarly, they have no investment or experience in hemp, but yet they're getting into it. And so that is why it's important for us to engage consultants from across the world who know about these things, who are experts in this field in order for us to succeed. Will there be any amendment to the existing legislation to allow for this kind of activity without it being illegal? There would absolutely have to be amendments to the law. Um, in addition, we would have to provide regulations. Um, in my opinion, it is an industry that has to be highly regulated. Unlike the current hemp uh, licenses that have been issued, those are not being regulated at all. Under the Misuse of Drugs Act, it only pertains, it only states that you're allowed to grow industrial hemp. There is no regulation and so it is treated like any other commodity like corn. So you get your license and you go out into the field and you start planting hemp, but there is nobody, there is no compliance officers, no inspectors, no monitors in place to go and check to ensure that the particular hemp that you are growing does not exceed the 0.3% THC and then make it into marijuana because there is that 0.3% limit in terms of the THC. And so we don't have anybody in country right now that is doing that type of compliance checking. And so we have a runaway train really, but at the same time, we have a blank canvas when it comes to cannabis because we have not started it yet. Yes, it is practiced and smoked recreationally up to 10 grams in Belize, um, but at the same time, it, the law makes no sense and makes no benefit for Belizeans the way it currently structured.